Cannon, old cannon hands. I was like, I think I can blast all these rocks. The other thing I would really like to figure out that I have never been able to get to work um, is that I cannot get our 4K capture card to pick up the PS5. It will not work. It drives me nuts. Because then I would just be able to take apart our other capture card. I've tried lowering the output quality, uh, in, like the resolution on the PS5 to 1080 instead of 4K. Um, the only thing I can think that it is, I did disable, disable HDR because it works with our other capture card that's older, but it doesn't work with the onboard one. Um, is that, and then what's even weirder is like that one works. So I'm like, is it the HDMI cable? But that is supposed to be 4K rated and it works with the other capture card, so. Like, I just cannot get it to work with the 4K M2 or whatever it's called. I keep the piece on me. Is that that? Oh no, I see they're all over there. I need a lot of Zonite to get more charges, I think. Yeah. So I might as well blow this whole thing up while I can easily do that. And Let's save blow me. this popsicle stand. Yeah, and then, I don't know if you were here, I swear to god, last week, the PS5 was working, and the capture card that it usually works with was not plugged in. I have no idea how it was working. It wasn't plugged in, I can- I was there. I was I like, it. what is picking this up? <laughs> like, the PS5 wire was going to the capture card, the desktop capture card, and then that output, the HDMI out of that, was not plugged into the HDMI of the PC. And I was like, what? <laughs> Uses a lot of energy to do this. It do use a lot of energy to do that. I don't want another pop. <laughs> I wish that we had cinnamon rolls. <laughs> okay. What? I don't know. I was like, I gotta want another pop, and Roddy was like, baked goods. I always want baked goods. I can't have them right now, or I'll explode. <laughs> So, Cinnabon is good, but I can never actually eat a whole Cinnabon dessert. There's just too much. Like, it's too rich. I love Cinnabon. My dad used to make these big-ass, like, massive cinnamon rolls, though. That was the good stuff. Cinnabon is, like, my uh, travel food, because there's almost always one of them in a Air airport. Yeah. So when I like am flying somewhere, I'll be like, "Where's the cinnamon?" <laughs> yeah. Now I will say, changing up our diet has been a little hard, but not not bad. Like we're trying new recipes. We found some we like, some that are just okay. But like the one that really surprised me was that root vegetable one. Like that one is delicious. It's good. And then today I made like baked chicken and veggies with, like, rosemary and olive oil, which came out very good. Yeah? You gonna pull up Uber Eats? Are you gonna deliver it to our house? Oops. <laughs> I blew myself up. <laughs> I just picture Cal coming out of, like, her reading cave, and you're just sitting there with that huge-ass living roll, and she's like, what? <laughs> She'd be like, where's mine? Oh. Alright. Back on the trail. 
On order for me and your honor. Hell yeah. yeah. Ask them to put our name on it in icing. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe there's no combat in the first dungeon of Dragon Quest VII, by the way. I was like, what the heck is happening? Oh, I gotta find him again. Should I have another pop? You want one? I can't decide. I mean, there's zero calorie, but I am worried about, uh, like, aspartame. I don't know. Yeah. But... Does Pepsi hit right? And now I just kind of want a starry. I know what to do, don't worry. Put some rockets on it. Yeah. Do I do I need a rocket on each slot, you think? I don't know. Let's do it. Hey, Keely, what up? Welcome to Ronnie's enrichment time. Uh, hi Keely. What did you tell me to tell Keely earlier? Oh, the next book of the month, so they have time to get it in the library. Oh. Yeah, I... The hell was that? I don't know what you just hit. <laughs> I don't know either! Uh, yeah, I picked my choice for our book of podcast for next month, and it's called Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. And I can't remember the name of the author, but yeah, that's, that's the book we're gonna read next month. And... Uh, my friend read it and said that she felt like it was written for her. I thought maybe if I did them all at once it would yeah. be, like, really cool, but it, it said... Yo! <laughs> I'm playing! I actually just love the title because in French it would be Ademane, Ademane, Ademane. Uh-huh. <laughs> until tomorrow, until tomorrow, until tomorrow. Yeah, it sounds interesting. Yep, that's yep. it. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, that's what it's called. Except for there's a comma after each tomorrow. After the first two tomorrows. I am halfway done with Let Let Me In, and I'm loving it. I haven't started it yet, and don't come at me. It's been a very busy month at my job, okay? I plan to read it, and then also, I just feel like work has been so stressful when I get home. I didn't want to read a horror story, so instead I've been reading books for my own enjoyment instead, so. But I will start it. Examine. Give me the bean. Give me the bean! Yeah! Yeah, a Swedish book. It's really good. It's very, like, Stephen king it -y. <laughs> Which is, like, top five all-time books for me. Oh, we're going down. We're yelling, Timber! You better move. You better dance. The Swedish version. Spend. I'm in Hungarian, I always think of that one because... Uh, my teacher is always like, it, it's it's said exactly the way it's spelled. And I'm like, the first two letters are SV. How do you say that? Sved. Yeah, it's like Sved. Like the alcohol, Svedka. I'm gonna have to fight something. See these balls? Let me just go attach these really quick. Ronnie's always looking for the balls. You <laughs> mean the balls? <laughs> We're also fighting Ball in Baldur's wow. Gate. We are. Yeah, we're in Act 5. And once we finish that, we're gonna power through Mass Effect. Yep. I just think it makes sense to finish the act. Like, cause we're, we're that close to the end, and then mm. we can, like, you know, really focus on one. Yeah. I knew it. The Undertaker emerges! I link lo standing up like, what? Excuse me? It's an evil you? They're so wiggly. 
That construct. I made it long ago. You abandoned your child? But the glow. It must be under the control of something monstrous. Okay, the floor is lava. I can't get off this thing because the entire arena yeah. is corrupted. If the Demon King has turned my creation into his pawn, we must defeat it. We can do this together, Link. Hey, here I go. Ah! <laughs> okay, I don't know what to do. Don't forget guard. Okay. And then you go in. Oh my god, I'm barely doing anything. This Hell in the cell. We keep knocking it over, but that is all. Give him the chair! We will not be able to force our way past the defenses. We must think. Oh, uh, my shield way. broke? What do I have to do? She said you gotta think of something else. You probably gotta knock him into the wires, maybe? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, how do I do that? I don't know. Come, come over here? But not careless. Retreat and recover your strength. I... I'm just gonna let it kill me, if I'm being honest, cuz... Maybe we can make use of it twice if you're honest. Can you... Knock him into the ropes! Knock him into the ropes! Okay. He's escaped. Go. He's escaped. I'm gonna eat something. That's what he said? <laughs> Stealth up. Very useful <laughs> for right now. Uh, excuse me? Get him in the ropes! Get him into the ropes! There you go. Now give him some wax. He jumped. My, I lost the ball. Oh fuck! I forgot to guard. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, get back, him back. Him up. Okay. There you go. Okay. And again. Okay, he's too fast. Tomorrow and tomorrow Hold and up. tomorrow again and again and again. Okay. Oh god. Bro! Oh, no. I should have seen that coming. Smack him in the butt. Okay, um... I, I gotta find something that I have a lot of that I can just shove in my face that <laughs> heals me. I mean, I don't have a lot of these, but let me just eat this. Alright, that's just good. And he can fly! Yeah, what the hell? This isn't fair. What? We won't have long in this way. We need to find another approach. Okay, I don't... What do you want me to do? I don't have a way to get um... there. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. What if I do this? I thought maybe I could steal Oh, you could steal his fan. It didn't work, and now I'm dying. Yeah, how do you... Oh, he's down! Ah! Bro, I'm not fast enough. Okay, hold on. That's not what I wanted. Keep strafing! No! Oh! oh, he hurt himself. Okay. I think I'm still gonna die, but ah! okay, hold on. Gotta eat some stuff. Just 
stuff a million things. Can you imagine Kid Link doing this? Because this feels like a Kid Link quest. I love that I can eat the shock fruit. It doesn't give me very much, but... But it's better than nothing, because you're like two, two phases away from winning. Yeah. <sighs> um... Oh, my pinned message disappeared, I just realized. Boo! <sighs> yeah. Oh, oh. fuck. Well, I guess it's a good thing I... Oh, shit. Because I think he dropped some, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> Not quite. Yeah. He has been... Drop... Dropping other, like, heavier weapons on the ground. It's a it's a panic situation. <laughs> there is a cannon. It's attached to my back. Yeah, that's what Chief was said. Where it's hard harder to use. I but I was trying to put a fan on my back. But you like yeah, you just picked it up in the the chaos of battle and it accidentally went there. Like this. Got the wrong one. Just kill me. This is not, in my opinion, what I want out of a Zelda game, but it is interesting. <laughs> it would... Um... If you have the cannon in the flying phases, you can basically lock him down for good. Use a zone I device, the construct drop. They're on the wrong button! You've almost done it, Link. Alright. It, it's, uh, it's cause the, uh, buttons for, like, attacking are completely different, too. Like, they're different from what Link attacks with, yeah, so it's yeah. like... Because they're his uh, appendages. Yeah. So I'm like, sometimes I hit the buttons that are like, oh, Link would do an attack here, but instead it does something different mm. on the... Anyways, you did it. I wasted so many resources. And you have acquired the bean. Who even built this MMA thing down here? Yeah, they said that the sage built the te the the thing. I gotta I gotta cook a lot of food before I fight Ganon. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna be screwed. <laughs> you did get another heart container, so yeah. Oh, look, we got to the second level. So, me and my android. You ever watch Megas XLR? No. Is that anime? 
Uh, kind of. I think it's like an American cartoon in the style of anime. Gotcha. It's about a guy it in, just sounded in Jersey like an anime who name. has a Gundam, essentially. Yeah. The Oxford comma. <laughs> Yo, we stand the Oxford comma. Am I going to become the new Sage of Spirit? You've been being... I like how they couldn't make Link a Sage. They were like, yeah, we're going to build this robot and have that be a Sage instead. Yeah, yeah, they're also monster trucks <laughs> in Vegas XLR. Monster trucks, that's so good. There's a whole episode about how he wants to get a slushy and monsters keep attacking, like, just having the weapons. Of course. Very valid plot line for an episode. Zelda asked me to aid you, Link. I am the Sage of Spirit, and one of the Zonai. Mini Mouse. I'm actually her lesser known sister, Paul Mouse. Link. I must thank you. It is because of you that we have recovered my secret stone. You're right. I did a lot of work. What the heck are the stones called in the goat stomach? Be Beos? Beazars? Yeah. Bezors? Bezor, I think, yeah. That's what you just got. I assist you on your journey. I had not anticipated a battle with that same construct. You have proven quite adept, and I am grateful for all your efforts. You've proven quite adept as I shoved a million fruits in my mouth in the fight just to stay alive. In the name of Minoru, Sage of Spirit, I grant my power unto you. So, like, what do the sages do when the world's not ending? Are they just vibing? I don't know. Well, I mean, like, we know, like, the other one, like, Zora, the Zora guy, uh, Sidon, he's a prince, so he rules a country. Well, no, I mean, like, like, in the other, like, in Ocarina of Time, like, the characters die and become sages, but, like, there's, like, a ten-year period where, like, you're doing nothing, because mm. you're asleep. So I guess technically the kingdom's not at peace because Ganon's attacking. But like, you know, what are they doing? They're just taking out the spirit world. My spirit will reside within that construct. I will help you however I can. No way in hell can I survive thousands of years, so I'm gonna turn into a ghost and haunt this iPad. <laughs> That's right. Ghost taunting your phone. Aha. Uh -huh. I am the one who lived in a distant past in the age of Hyrule's founding. Circumstances forced me to forsake my body and become a being of pure spirit. Long have I slumbered, slumbered within Zelda's parapet in order to share what I knew when I passed into your hands. I apologize that our meeting has been so long delayed. The Demon King's interference is to blame. Nevertheless, I ask your pardon. Well then. On to the topic at hand. In my own age of the distant past, from your perspective, Zelda awakened as a sage of time and appeared before us. What I must relate to you is the tragedy that occurred in Hyrule's history. At its crux was Zelda, who held a secret stone in traverse time. Uh -huh. She made a momentous decision, decision in those days gone by. I would have you know the resolve she poured into that blade, the Master Sword. Long ago, my people known as the Zonai came down from the heavens to the surface of the world. It was said they were descendants of gods. They bore treasures from these same gods, secret stones capable of amplifying the abilities of those who possessed them. Using the knowledge of the Zonai, my younger brother yeah. became a great leader. He met a young woman named Sonia, and they would wed. Raru gifted Sonia one of the secret stones. Together, they sought to establish their kingdom. This is how the kingdom of Hyrule, with Raru and Sonia as its first king and queen, came to be. The future looked bright. And then... The Fire Nation attacked. However, tragedy suddenly struck. 
A man of great evil emerged from the desert. No furry marriage on my watch. I said no! Ganondorf killed Queen Sonya and stole her secret stone. Using the secret stone, Ganondorf transformed into the Demon King. He then created swarms of monsters and attacked. Hyrule rose up to face these threats. But the evil power driving the monsters forward was staggering. The defenders were on the brink of defeat. Raru then came up with a plan to turn the tide of the war. He entrusted secret stones to warriors with exceptional abilities. They became sages and united in an effort to finally defeat the Demon King. Raru and the sages outnumbered the Demon King and should have been able to stop him. <laughs> Raru's just out here causing problems. There he is. The Demon King's power had grown far beyond anything we could have imagined. I was unable to withstand his strength. Yeah, you're not looking so good in this flashback. Our Appeared all but lost. And then, Raru. I love that his hair has like effervescent abilities. Yeah. Like, it might be dark in here, but my hair glows. I could see people getting hair like that in the future. Yeah. Like, it just has like a little light effect on it. Yeah, there's actually just a love triangle they're fighting over Haru. <laughs> he said, Miss me in that shit. Oh, got him. Good job. That pride will be your downfall, Ganondorf. Baby. Get him. He ripped his heart out. Hardcore. Kill Bill style. Raru inside me. <laughs> are you ready to pay the price for this? Don't be so smug. I know exactly what it will cost me. <laughs> eh, ghosts are real here, it's fine. Thousands of years will pass on the brink of an eye. You only delay the inevitable. You're wrong. Years from now, someone will appear with the sword that seals the darkness. That's Swordsman me! with the power to defeat you, Link. Remember. Ganondorf's like, oh, fuck that guy. Yeah, <laughs> again? Me doesn't know I guess him, technically yeah, I guess, this right? is the first time. Right? Oh, he's, yeah, I look forward to meeting him. <laughs> again and again and again. Yeah. All of Link's past lives were like, God damn it, is this why this keeps happening in the afterlife? <sighs> hey, it's this guy! You know this tragedy as the imprisoning war. Though it took all we were able to get, we succeeded in imprisoning the Demon King. But I was wounded in the process. My body was soon to expire. Well, then. That's when Zelda came to me, bearing a decayed and broken sword. Yes, you will recall how the Master Sword vanished from your hand at the Temple of Time. From there, it traveled into the distant past, appearing in Zelda's hands. And now you hold it once again. 
Oh, another <laughs> another cinematic. You're saying that sword traveled through time the same way you did? Yes, but more importantly, in my original time, the Demon King was vulnerable to even the smallest piece of this sword. Even someone like him has vulnerabilities. Hmm. Then... What exactly are you Yeah, don't, don't even tell them that Link's coming. Just let it be a surprise. It's like killing a vampire while sleeping during yeah. the day. It heal itself and even grow stronger. Curious. If we were able to empower it in that way, it could be the key to defeating the Demon King. But it could take centuries for that sword to grow strong enough. The power the Demon King wields. I do not see how this can be done. It would be impossible for you to provide it with sacred power for so long. I can think of one way. You mean... Yes, I can do it. I have to. I've told you, that act is forbidden for a very good reason. It would mean throwing yourself away. <laughs> oh my well, goodness. sounds like you're dying, so I'm gonna get to do whatever the hell I want. You won't tell anyone about this. You won't be able to change back. The moment I, we, the we gotta find a loophole, right? Nah, I'm just gonna be a sick dragon. Was why I came to this area. <laughs> Too much of that gloom. I want to restore the Master Sword and deliver it to Link. When did she get those tear tattoos? I don't think we ever saw that in a cutscene. <laughs> she she went just to jail for a while. Show up. <laughs> <laughs> you really have made up your mind? <sighs> Very well then. As a Zonai, I bear my share of blame for these events. So I too will devote myself to this goal and to this hero of yours. More tears, more important. I will do everything I can. Even if my body should perish, I will still be with you in spirit. It does look- she has two marks- or four marks on her face, this lady. They just look different on Zelda, but I yeah. guess because she's not a furry. <laughs> Meow, meow. Aha! Uh -huh. Afterwards, Zelda and I discussed strategy. We laid the groundwork for guiding you in the distant future. Well, Before the gloom's affliction took my life, I became a spirit and entered the Pyrapad. Then Zelda did what she felt she must and began the forbidden process. She believed we would use the Master Sword and defeat the Demon King and restore peace to Hyrule. Aha! Uh -huh. You already have in hand the hope that Zelda left to you, the sword that seals the darkness, the Master Sword. Well then. Go now, Link. With the sword of hope that Zelda left to you, you will surely smite Demon King Ganondorf. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Trail of the Master Sword? Trail. Oh, trail. Oh, it's complete already. It's your cousin. Let's go bowling. Alright, time to go cook. Okay, now we have to report at Lookout Landing, so... What's this mean? It's the entrance to the temple. Oh, hey. Oh. I need materials, too. Material girl. Oh, thanks. Damn. I already have one of those, so now I can definitely use one on the Master Sword. Yeah, use that for spanking Ganondorf. Uh, I think I need to save it, because... 
Okay, but I can come here to get the ancient blade. Now what's this? I am ready to produce. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, one time, one time use, but they're like really strong. So like if you fuse into the Master Sword, it's gonna break with one hit, but you're gonna deal a ton of damage if you hit. Yeah. See, I have two. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Um. Does this have something on it right now? It does. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you have a boa constraint to wrap yeah. around it. Uh. Yeah. Just melts them. Okay, so I want to go to Lookout Landing. It means I want to go... here. Alright, get me out of the Underdark. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. How does it feel to have all the sages? I've got the whole sage in my hand. Yeah. Have you seen that new update in um Gmail? No. Where like like so like it shows you the label is oh, created, but you can yeah. see the, the arrival date with it. Yeah, I have seen that. Well, did you find anything out about the fifth sage? Yeah, they're my best friend now. What? You found the sage of spirit? Mineru? This is... Incredible! That means we have the five sages. Fantastic work, Link. I can't believe this is actually one of the sages you faced off against the Demon King alongside Princess Zelda. And now we have news about the princess. There's some relief in that, at least. So in the ancient past, Princess Zelda worked to restore the decayed Master Sword and return it to your hand, trusting that you would defeat the Demon King in the present day. She did so much all on her own. What? The Master Sword was restored, you say? When were you planning on telling me? And it was found in the head of a white dragon of all places? That's hard to believe. However... Hmm. This was Princess Zelda's wish, one she believed in so strongly that she gave her life to see it through, for us. Thank you for finding the sword, Link. I have to say, <laughs> you really don't look quite yourself unless you've got the Master Sword at your side. Check it. Now then, it seems you have all you need. You need to, you're, you're prepared to face our enemy. Okay. We need to determine where the Demon King is lurking. Seems like unlikely he'd still be in Hyrule Castle. Can't think of any place he'd be here on the surface. That must mean that's it, the depths. Well, would you say there's a high probability that he's in the depths? What do you think? Oh, do what you think best, of course, but my suggestion is to ask Joseph for any info she may have. She's enthusiastic about investigating the depths, so I'm sure she'd be happy to help yeah. out. Link, the rest is up to you. Alright. It's cooking time, baby. It is cooking time. I'm gonna talk to Josa because she's right here, so but Hi. Hi Swordsman! Are your investigations in the depths of the Yiga clan going well? I'm hard at work too. But I still don't have anything new aside from what I told you about the statues that seem to lead southwest. Oh, do I still have to do this quest to get her to progress this quest? Okay, underneath the forest, it said. This is like getting you to explore the depths even more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just ignored the Yiga clan. There, 
they seem like not as big a problem at this moment <laughs> as Gandorf. Okay, so maybe I need to do that quest before I'm allowed to progress. We know where Princess Zelda is. We're just gonna pretend we don't know she's a fucking dragon? Okay, cooking time. I don't really have anything to cook with. Hold on, let me... But did you find her, or did you find her? Oh, uh, I found her? Oh, you need cooking supplies. Yeah, I was like, I don't know, I guess we'll just see what's over here. Oh. I mean, I hate to spend money on this, but... Ah. At least we have some fish. Get some apples. I have- I have some apples already. Also, I can't remember why I put this frog shirt on. I think I was trying to climb up something. But I gotta go back to my sun outfit. <laughs> oh, you landed on his head! <laughs> excuse me! It's like Gizmo when she jumps on the bed at night, he just lands on our face. Um, okay. Do some salt, I guess. And some... Okay, what does this do? Increases my attack power? That seems good. Banana and fish, that goes well together, right? <laughs> Honestly, and like, tomato. it's weird because I don't really enjoy eating, like, a plain, like a raw banana. But when you make, like, smoothies and stuff with it, that's when I like it. So I can kind of see, like, you know, using bananas as, like, a thickening agent or something with fish. Yeah. Mighty. Snooping around dozens of caves looking for hardy truffles is probably the way to go. Or if you unlock the sensor plus and have a picture of a hardy truffle, you don't even have to go in the caves. Or you get a radar. I don't think I have a picture of a hardy truffle, but yeah, you're right. That's probably the way to go. Um, but I'm just gonna make some food she, so that you I have, have like, something. Nothing to even heal you if you're yeah. hunting for stuff. Because yeah, then you just throw one truffle in there with something and you're maxed out. Yeah, because I, I do just like making the truffles. I'm just sticking to this recipe. I know it's not good. It's probably not even close to good, but... Vegemables. Yo, but for real, we got this res this vegetable recipe. I was talking about it earlier. It's a root vegetable, like medley, with what? Allspice, coriander... What else is in there? Uh, cumin. Cumin. But anyways, uh, it it goes hard. Like I love it. And we added some mushrooms. Um. Yeah, just a good good snack. Oh, if you've ever made a specific recipe before, you can choose one ingredient, and there's a menu option that lets you make it without throwing everything in. Oh, okay. Now, uh, I don't really know how to get to the like, caves. I don't know where a cave- I mean, there's a cave, but it also looks like a monster lair, so I don't really want to go in there. Actually, I do see a bunny, I think. Yeah, just efficiency. Alright. The infinity gauntlet is complete. Now I just got a full, uh, thing falling me Middle around. finger activated. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bunny. Are you gonna jump into the monster cave? Yeah. Hey, this is close to the starting area. It shouldn't be too hard, right? Hey, guys. Shot him in the damn yeah. wrist. Jesus Christ, I'm so bad. Good thing you have your bird, man. 
You guys got this. I don't even need to do anything. Oh yeah, Keely, if you're still here, was I right with the language for that band? Keely posted a band and they were like, do you know what language this is? And so just listening to it, I was like, Serbian? I think it's Serbian. It was kind of cool when I was watching the Hungry Game earlier because I, I started to recognize words. Mm -hmm. Like I could hear them chanting like Majorok Orsag, which is like, go hungry country, go country of hungry. Uh huh. What is CMB posting in show and tell? Oh, it's a response to me being like, hell yeah, hungry qualified. <laughs> That's a good gift. Scott Sterling! Well, look, I found a piece of meat up here. That's something. That game was wild. Hungry just needed a tie to qualify. And in the final minute, on the final kick of the game, they got the they got Bulgaria to score on itself. Okay. I'm actually wearing a Hungarian soccer shirt. <laughs> there you go. So now it's locked in. Now you gotta activate that on your sensor, don't forget. Yeah. Um, and I do that by... Ch change target. Food. I don't know why, I mean, this is just like, I, don't, I didn't play around with this that much, but I didn't even think, like, oh, this could be a thing, right? Yeah, well, we skipped, we didn't spend that much time and look on landing. So you didn't get it until late. Yeah. Okay, so now this will beep. When I'm near one. Where? in the wall? I mean, there's probably another cave nearby, or... that I have to figure out how to get to. Also, I feel like the sensor go goes pretty far out, so, like... Yeah. It's in the castle. Where is it? Did I walk too far away from it? Oh no. I'm just gonna go to the other side of this. Oh, the damn uh, Gundam teleported to you. Spicy peps. Mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know, and I thought I was walking towards it, but... Then it suddenly stopped going off. Go back to the entrance. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you guys have fun with that. Oh, hello. I honestly. It Oh, maybe it's a well nearby. You are right. Oh, 
Hello, bomb flower. It seems like it's... Yeah, I was like on that wall. I don't know, man. But yeah, it might be a well like adjacent to this. Yeah, it's probably... They have to be on the ground, right? Yeah, so it's probably not in this cave. But see, it stops going off once I get out of the cave. Yeah. Oh, this is a weird one. Could just be like okay. a, a bug. Well, <laughs> let me... I'm just like... This is like a, a mountain over here, right? Yeah. So there's probably something over here. Put a green pin on there. Just start heading in that direction. Hello. Don't worry, I'm not gonna attack the fox. Actually, now that I think about it, the bunny ran in there and we never found the frog thing that you're supposed to kill. That is true. I feel like there's something I'm missing in that cave. But I don't know how long I want to waste in here. It has a check mark on it. Oh, oh you that means we did it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, maybe it's just like a weird one that like generated inside a wall or something. Yeah. I was like, what is that? And then it set up. I was like, oh, it's a bird. Ah! You just need a couple, like, if you can get, like, two or three. Yeah. The problem is, since they're underground, it's gonna, like, lead me... To above, to above it. it, and then I'm gonna have to figure out how to get in there. You make me fight a goblin too. Oh wait, I think I do see an opening, maybe. Oh, hold on. That good herb. There you go. Okay. Found another one. I love your slow lumbering robot just following after you. One whole truffle. I don't know where is a good spot to look, like... I don't know, maybe like, you think there's a lot of caves over here? Because there's a cave here that I haven't completed. I don't know. No cookies, no. Oh. Hardy fish. For the for the Zora. Oh look it, there's the little guy right there. Oh, you gotta put warm clothes I'm on. Cold, yeah. So that's here. Right?
Oh, in the sky. Oh, yeah. Like one of these. It's a, a, a rectangular pool. Like this one? Down, Down to, the, to right. the right. Okay. I'll go to that. It is dinner time for the cats, but until Gizmo wakes up and comes over here, I'm gonna let her nap. She's sleeping on the cat tree? Yep. She just stretched like she knew I was looking at her. Oh, she opened her eye. She's like, if they get up, it's food time. She's watching. Okay, so we gotta go to... to this one. Right? Or, wait, down to the right. Is it this one? Yeah, like, the, the like, road beneath where you are now. Mm -hmm. Now you have to climb up. No. Like, there was a whole path where you spun, you had to climb up to the water temple. Oh, the scale island? Or, or, or this thing? Yeah, is that what it? Yes. <laughs> that one. The rectangle of destiny. It probably will be easier getting there floating down though, so. I would hope so. I just want to see, can I see it from here? Ah, oh, okay, there's a side quest where they're probably like, you're gonna want the good fish. I mean, I guess I'll just try to get over there, right? Yeah. I think I'm over it. Do you see some enemies? Sorry, I was climbing into the sky to get some fish. Oh, there is a person here. A floating place. What a pleasant surprise! Who would have thought I'd meet someone way up here? You see that? There are fish even this high up in the sky. What's more, they're hardy bass. Just half of one would fill my stomach for the rest of the day. Can you tell I'm catching fish? Since the sludge disappeared, I can finally fulfill my wonderful duty of catching fish. I was so happy to be back at it that even though I'm all about fishing, I had to follow my heart to the sky. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I can't believe there's only two of them. I wish I could get a little bit more. Please refresh the fishing pond. Well. I could, have I even been here before? I guess so. <laughs> a blood moon or two will fix that. Okay. So you got a fish and two truffles so far, right? Mm-hmm. Um... Oh, there's probably- there's probably some... caves over here, some such. Alright. Have fun with the domestic... things. Yes, have fun. Rot Rumpin. Uh, let's go to here. 
And I'll just shoot myself in the sky and then look for stuff in that area. Pilots. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier, what did I? What did you say? Ronnie oh. said something. Me? Yeah. Oh, you were saying I didn't have a phone until I was thirteen, but my brain was like thirty. <laughs> Alright, I'll feed you now, baby, but first you gotta say hi to chat. You gotta earn your dinner.